we're just backed up against two, three straight weeks of people hating on David Johnson. We came on here last week and told you to buy him low because he's still David Johnson, multi-threat. The one of the biggest things about this offense is obviously you lost Bruce Arians, who was a you know a genius, and then you lost Carson Palmer, who was basically the opposite of the guy that brought in. You brought in um, Bradford, who's a check down, high accuracy kind of guy, and Carson Palmer is a force it down the field and stretches out the defense. So now, which it, check down, high accuracy would have been awesome if either of those were happening when Bradford was in there. Well, this is true. Well, so. it's a shell of him. Yeah, he right. wasn't the same old Bradford. Right. That, you know, if there was the same old Bradford, right. but so yeah, really bad turn of events for the Cardinals. But you get a here. little bit of mix of both of those. Because Rosen's a high accurate type of guy, high IQ quarterback, and so now if Rosen takes this offense forward, then that's going to open up. That's what David Johnson needed. I mean, it's not he didn't. Josh Rosen isn't going to turn into Carson Palmer overnight. But as Josh Rosen goes and grows with this team, we've seen the spark this week. We've seen things start to open up, and we've seen the coaches come in, like you said, right away. Get a couple of carries for David Johnson. Start to move forward. Gets a couple catches. Gets the touchdown. Um, Obviously, only four targets, but again, it's traditionally these two teams, Seahawks Cardinals, it's just been a you know a hated rivalry, defensive slugfest. Even when both of those offenses were clicking, when these two teams play, scoring slows down. That's kind of how it's been. So you go back, you get into this game here, twenty to seventeen. Both teams were missing field goals. It easily could have been in the mid to high twenties in type of scoring. So that I think that plays that that makes you feel so that much more comfortable with the Cardinals offense moving forward. And David Johnson, you know, I think you could probably carry uh, maybe into the next week a still continue into that buy low window um, because he really didn't crush it. Twelve for seventy one and a touch and a couple catches, but that's just this is just enough a spark to show you that you know Josh Rosen is enough to bring this team around to being real, just not being the worst offense in the league is what David Johnson needs. Absolutely. Um, I think the stat line, like you mentioned, doesn't look as good as I thought Larry was playing. Playing, He did lose a fumble, which was a big bummer for them. Um, but it looked like he was getting a solid yard yards per carry. There was plenty of runs that were bigger than – there were five yards or more. I know it ended up being like 3.2. Um, but I think, you know, you saw the highest – receiving yardage total of the year uh three catches on 41 for 41 yards which is which is great to see i think when rosen goes back and looks at the tape he's going to see more of dj being open a ton in the flats right with like no one around him and you know he was he was to his credit trying to force the ball downfield and he was trying to trying to make that offense go but Man, there's David Johnson sitting wide open in the flats a ton. Like if you get him the ball right there, it's not only going to be awesome for DJ's PPR floor, but it's going to help move this offense along, chip away, sustain drives, and move the ball down the field. Well, not only does Josh Rosen go and say, "Hey, I had David Johnson in the flats." Now you got the other team's defense next week. The coordinators going and looking and saying, "Okay, Josh Rosen, I've seen a game of his in the NFL, and he's legit. And he had these passes up the scene, down the sideline, finding wide open, finding receivers, and putting good balls in them, whether they called it or not. He had, there were some good catches in this game for the Cardinals for sure, and some big time drops. So not only does the you know the Cardinals go back and self scout and say, "Okay, this is what we could have done better." Now you go into next week. The other team's defense is looking around on the off on, during the week, being like, "Wow, this this is not the same Cardinals offense that we've got used to seeing the first couple of weeks." Certainly not. And I'd, I'd be trying to buy some David Johnson still. I mean, it could have been a bigger day for him. I think there are bigger days ahead. I'd be trying to give him up, try, trying to still acquire him for sure, right? I mean, what are you going to give up to get David Johnson? I, if if you had two firsts, I'd give up two firsts. Sure. Anything else? I still, I'd, I'd give up two first round picks for David Johnson. Yeah, all day I give up a, a nineteen and a twenty. I mean, I or guess if you, you have two, got those. or if you have two this year, go. You know, if you have two yours 19s. and somebody else's, yeah, I'd give that up for David Johnson. All right. Well, you got anything to add to DJ? We've kind of beat the, yeah, beat the horse. No, we've I'm talked. We, we we're we're well on record being huge DJ lovers. We've always uh, beat the horn, beat the drum for David Johnson. So go get him before it's too late.